Hi guys, it's me, your girl Lightwork Goddess and Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. So today we are currently in Mercury retrograde. We know that Mercury retrograde is from June 10th. I'm sorry, from May 10th this year, as of right now, all the way to June 3rd. So we know during retrograde, it's a time when people come back, exes, past loves, past friends, and communication can be very wonky at this time. So today we're going to look in and see who's coming towards you. Um, I've already pre-shuffled and got some overall energy of this person, and then we're going to jump in with messages and tarot. This is a collective message. Take what resonates and leave what does not. Father God, spiritual guides, ancient ancestors, please come into this reading for my beautiful collective. Let this be a message of love and light. Please keep out all low vibrational dark energy as it's not welcome in my spirit or the collective. And so it is. And to be amen, I'll say. So we have the Four of Swords. We have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Queen of Cups. And we have the Page of Swords. Back of the deck energy is the King of Cups. So heavy water energy and air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like the person that's coming towards you, this could be somebody that you used to date. This is somebody who sees you as the Queen of Cups. I do feel like it's a masculine coming towards you because um, for my feminines, because there are a lot of masculine um, energies depicted here in just one feminine. So I feel like someone's been going through a spiritual awakening because as you can see in the Four of Swords, that typically means rest, healing. I feel like someone is being guided by their ancestors. This could be like a past ancestor guiding to them, them to ascend because you could see like in the future that's kind of like future business look and everything like that. So I feel like someone is being guided to come towards you about making a decision. Now we have the page of pentacles in reverse. The person coming towards you for Mercury retrograde is somebody who could have been moving slow to give you an offer, but I feel like this person no longer wants to move slow. This person sees you as their match with the king and queen of cups. This person sees you as their queen. This person sees that you are over, overflowing with love, very nurturing, very kind, very gentle. I don't know why that's kind of giving me the Trinidadian flag vibe. So some of you guys might be Trini. And some of you guys are dealing with a Pisces because I do see a fish in the masculine energy and Page of Swords. This is someone who's definitely been watching you, okay? Watching you, seeing what you're doing. And I don't know why I'm here. Like, this person's on the defense. Like, if you have been getting a lot of attention, they don't like that. Okay, how's this person viewing you? They see you as being very inspirational. They see you as being a vibe. You know, like Lauren Hill is just that queen. They see you in this goddess, very talented, very adorned um, energy. How's this person that how's this person? How's this person view my collective? Okay, humor. This person also really likes your personality. It's like they really appreciate all aspects of you. They feel like you're very funny. They feel like you're not only smart and inspirational, but you're very funny and down to earth. How's this person view on my collective? It's coming towards some dominance, that Rihanna energy. So look at you. It's giving divine feminine empress energy. Like you're like in this beautiful inspirational energy you're very inspiring and motivated you know how to focus on things but you're, you know lauren hill was somebody who was really real and down to earth like it's like you have integrity okay and then on top of that you also have a bomb personality like you're funny people like to be around you you make them laugh they think you're very humorous but then you're sexy as shit get at boss bitch rihanna is dominance like lay down young man 333 on the clock okay How's this person viewing my collective? The person coming towards them or most in their energy for Mercury retrograde, May 2022. Versatility. So this person sees you as being ver very versatile. It's like you have all these different feminine energies. It's really giving me the empress. Like you're funny, you're focused, you're motivational. Um, but you're, you, you could switch up your look, your style. It's like you're giving me a real, like, a retral vibe. Now, what is this person's overall energy at the present moment whenever my collective watches this video? What is their current energy in their own space? In their own heart and mental space? Instinct with self-love this person feels like they hit the lotto with you but for some reason they weren't following their instinct look at that like lotto looking down like damn what the fuck was i thinking that's what it's kind of giving me so this person is now feeling like you know what um they're being intuitively led to you like um high priestess self-love in reverse like i feel like this person is kind of like beating themselves up or they could be not as confident as they appear to be you know 
change this person is ready for change though okay they want some sort of change when it comes to you and we have passion this person is very very passionate about you this person could be a scorpio because uh sizza is a scorpio i think her birthday is november 8th which is the day right after mine but this person is very very passionate about you um and you know they feel i think eve's a scorpio too heavy water energy and i think that i think i don't know i think lotto might be a sag i don't know anyways sagittarius could be here pisces for rihanna um i don't know the other people but i know that so anyways this person is very passionate towards you and back of the deck they are in their emotions maybe even listening to some janae Iko. you know janae Iko is one of those people who probably makes mercury retrograde music reminiscing on a past person reminiscing on past love you know it's kind of like they're in that vibe of really thinking about you what is this person's energy who's coming towards my collective for Mercury retrograde spirit? Father God. I don't know why I'm hearing the song. I'll keep you my dirty little secret. Been around a time or two just to waste my time with you. Tell me all that you've thrown away. I feel like this you are the one that needs to know this could have been a sneaky link this could have been someone who was trying to keep you as a secret now embracing the shadow shadow love 13. this person could have been born on the 13th or the number four can be very significant here the person is starting to embrace their shadow and that's so interesting with that number four um coming out with the uh four swords healing okay one love unconditional love 16 this person no matter what just feels like drawn to you like they love you they feel unconditional like no matter number 16 no matter how far you guys go it's like how much how long you guys go without talking they still love you okay time travel nine this is someone always gives me somebody who's thinking about the past thinking about decisions they made and golden door this is giving me that same energy this person's being led to you by the ancestors the number 20 um expand in wisdom they feel like you are the key to like their happiness right now what fell on the ground goddess divine feminine so somebody is seeing you in a divine feminine energy just be very beautiful very inspired we have 23 in reverse guardian uh family karma cleansing so this person could have been in a karmic energy due to some uh karma from their family from their bloodline but i feel like they are being led by their ancestors to come towards you but overall they see you as like their one true love one love unconditional divine feminine they're thinking about the past they're reminiscent and that is why they're being led to you what's this person's overall feelings in the heart space spirit king of wands confident driven very fiery and passionate wanting to be intimate somewhat in their ego maybe wanting to express their love but not knowing the king of wands also is like confident enough to make a decision so that's their heart space what's this person's feeling in the head space five of pentacles they can't keep thinking about how they either left you out in the cold or how they feel left out in the cold this person feels really really left out and separated from you what's this person's inner soul higher self overall vibrational frequency towards the collective six of pentacles they know they were breadcrumbing you and they can't stop thinking about that but this also is giving me that this person feels like they want to equal give and take when it comes to you what is this person's energy in the 3D? What are they um, protruding to the 3D regarding the collective? Two of Swords, acting like they don't know what they want, acting like they're indecisive. So in their, so in their heart, they're, they're ready, they're passionate, they're fiery, they want to come in and be intimate. They're, they're very attracted to you in their head. They can't keep thinking about the shit that they did that made them leave you out in the cold or them leave, or you leave them out in the cold in their higher self they're thinking about how they breadcrumbed you and they're feeling bad like they feel like it should have been an equal give and take like i'm here and i should have never did the collective like that but in the 3d when they come towards you they portray this energy of a two of swords how is this person feeling about the collective at this very moment whenever the collective watches this video four swords in reverse so they are healing, but I feel like they feel like they won't be able to heal the connection with you or they're hiding this from you. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. They don't want this cycle to close. They don't want this to end. 
They want to drop some burdens. They want to drop the burden. They feel like they're being plagued by the decisions they made towards you. Ten of Wands in reverse. How does this person feel about the collective overall? Four of Pentacles. They feel like you're holding back for them. They feel like you have a lot of options. Or they feel like they're the only one who feels like this about you. Seven of Cups. Seven of Swords in reverse. They don't want to be sneaky or they know you you aren't sneaky. Two of Cups with the Nine of Swords. This person is all up in their head at night thinking about you and how you guys should have been together. I keep hearing, I wish I had a time machine. Yep, Queen of Wands in reverse. So they're seeing that they feel like you don't want them. They're in this King of Wands energy and they feel like you don't want them. They might feel like maybe you only wanted them for sex or maybe you see them in a karmic energy or sometimes they might just think and like get in their head and be like, oh, the collective is like out here having sex with people. Clarify this Queen of Wands and how they feel about the collective. Why is it in reverse? Why is there a Queen of Wands here? Because you came out as a Queen of Cups. So is there a Queen of Wands? Another woman here? Ace of Cups in reverse. Wow. the empress yep mm, no nope. there's another woman here the chariot so i feel like when they think about you could be a fire sign um aries leo sag i feel like when they think about you they think about how maybe they offered their couple up to somebody else and they realize they're not in love with them okay because you are coming out as the empress so that's kind of like they're comparing you some of them can have some this is what i'm getting thank you spirit some of them can be like in dealings with like karmic feminine energies that are just for sex but they don't love them and that's kind of the energy that this person's been in a while and it's kind of like a player getting sick and time sick and tired with the riffraff the back and forth and it's like they you release them they could have released you now they're in their emotions and they're trying to find the courage and confidence to come towards you okay because they see you as the empress it's like they keep comparing all these feminines to you clarify the empress ten of cups and the emperor reverse see back of the deck is the king of swords they know they were being cold they know they cut you out of their life they know they were being distanced and this person realizes that you might not see them as a partner they feel like because of 12 12 on the clock because they were in a karmic em energy the emperor in reverse it's like they realize that they didn't approach the situation the correct way when it comes to you being the empress it's like this person has had some spiritual awakening realizing that you are the divine feminine and that they love you and that they wish they could go back in time this is them embracing their shadow this is them understanding that, damn, I really made the wrong decision. Like, I got all these hoes, but I don't got my empress. Mm. It's a hard lesson to learn. Okay, let's see. What is this person's intent? What is this person's intentions, spirit? The person coming towards my collective for Mercury retrograde. What is their intentions? Page of Pentacles, Justice, and the Two of Wands. This person wants to communicate with you. I feel like they're going to just send you a message to see what's up with you. Like, hey, how you been? But they really want to bring some sort of truth to you, some sort of clarity, or they want that from themselves. I'm hearing they just want to hear if you, they just want to know if you still like them. Do you still think about me? And I feel like Two of Wands, they want to see what's up with, like, y'all trying it again and going down a new path. I'm hearing do it right this time. This person has never let you go. Page of Swords in reverse, they're watching you and they've been hiding it. And they're also tired of high, uh, of watching you and just like watching you. You have the Page of Swords twice. But I feel like they're going to act like they don't know anything about you. Like they haven't been watching your social media, but they have. They're just going to try to act like they don't know what's going on with you. But some of y'all, they have been keeping close tabs on you. Okay, this person also is going to talk about the fact that they feel like what I, they may have invested somewhere where um they didn't get their return with that seven of pentacles yeah and this king of swords energy three of cups page of cups in reverse five of cups the lovers in reverse yep this person could be talking about like i feel like they're gonna tell you like hey you know i haven't been around you for a while because i was with somebody else but i'm no longer with them it didn't work out with them like i don't it, it wasn't even like anything serious you know i thought i liked them but then i found out who they really were and i just really regret like not choosing you like this person wants you to forgive them like they're in a very depressive energy a very reflective energy and it's like they want you to hear them out and understand like i'm not the bad guy i just made like a really impulsive decision to like walk away from you or and choose someone else but like you always been my happiness like I, you've always made me happy yeah someone's coming in with communication eight of wands i feel like this is like one i feel like once you like start talking to this person some of them might call you drunk 
once you start talking to this person they're gonna like overflow with everything that's happened yeah they're gonna talk about why they've been isolated from you and they're gonna say it was because they was out here maybe fucking with hoes king of wands in reverse you know being very sexual not taking people seriously but they're gonna talk about like you know um i didn't know what i wanted at the time five was of uh, the hangman but you know what? I've been healing four swords again, and now I'm ready. Like, this person's going to talk about the fact that, like, two of swords in reverse with a higher font. Listen, guys. Five of swords on the back of the deck in reverse. This person's returning from turning their back on you. They're going to talk about, like, I wasn't ready at the time. I was out here chasing these hoes. I didn't know what I wanted. But now, like, I want to settle down. I want to be with you. And the funny thing is, look at that. The chariot. The funny thing is, some of you guys are, like, not even open to this. Like, some of you guys have fully released this person. Whew. Any other messages, Spirit, about this person coming towards my collective from Mercury Retrograde? Ace of Wands, Emperor, the Fool. Okay, this person, <laughs> now they're coming up in the upright. They're very sexually passionate towards you, and they're ready to take this leap of faith. It's not the Fool 2.0. But they just want to see, like, can we at least get back to t on talking terms? Can we at least go out to lunch or something? Their fucking intention is to be your emperor and be sexual and have a new start. But they're going to try to take it slow because I'm hearing they know they did the most. Anything else? Five of cups. Five of pentacles. Six of pentacles in the struggle position. Yeah. This person's going to talk about how they were struggling, like, to give to you and give to towards somebody else. How, like, they they know they were breadcrumbing you, but they're going to try to make it seem like they weren't intentionally doing it, even though I feel like they were out here just, like, fucking around. But Five of Cups with the Five of Pentacles, this person is, like, really depressed and really feels left out in the cold. Like, they really want you to know that they really regret the decisions that they made. Yeah. This person has some secrets, though. And I feel like the secret is that they were, like, someone from their past that they could have released. That they, like, want to get away from them and go down a new path with you. Give me more on this situation with this moon and the six of cups in reverse. Okay, five of swords with the five of wands in reverse. They're walking away from somebody because they're sick and tired of fighting. So it's like this person got with somebody that they thought, look at that, split the deck, ten of cups in the tower. Thank you, spirit. This person got with somebody that they got into a relationship with. This could have been somebody from their past that they kept hidden from you. It's like they were breadcrumbing you because they were still invested in a cycle with someone else. And we did get a karmic feminine energy. And I feel like it has a lot to do with the fact that because we have the king and queen of wands in reverse and you're coming up as the empress. Okay, it's like they knew you were better, but they were in a karmic energy because they were the emperor in reverse. So now they're in the upright. They've done some healing. They're being led to you by the ancestors. I feel like they're going to communicate like, yo, I thought I could make it work with my BM, with my child's father, with my ex. You know, I didn't know how you felt about me. I wasn't ready, but it was a fucking disaster. Mm. Yeah, I feel like a lot of them got into a relationship. Yeah, that ended up in backstabbing betrayal. And it's like it took this person being hurt in order for them to really become single. I feel like this person was never fully single. Like, this is somebody, yeah, ten of pentacles. This is somebody who still had, you know, ties to something. Yeah, this king of cups, this cancer, Pisces, Scorpio male. This is somebody who still had ties. Look at that. With the dead queen of cups. They see you as a match. This is three of cups. Yep, third party energy. The emperor. Ugh, come on, spirit. This is somebody who saw you as the one for them, but they were still tied to someone from their past they were still in a karmic energy guys you know when people are in karmic energies you can't rush them out of that cycle you know coming towards my collective for mercury retrograde let your friends help you keep an open mind in reverse and children some of these people have children with somebody and that's why they were staying in a situation and they didn't feel you would be open to that because I feel like you didn't even fucking know this so that's what maybe they're talking to their friends about that they're nervous about like if I tell the collective that you know um I had a kid you know or I had a kid this whole time or I went and had one in the process of us dealing with each other do you think that they'll take me back That's why you just got to be real with people, y'all. You really just got to be real with people because, you know, that's not something that nobody got to, um, that's not something that nobody got to, um, accept. Okay. 
So what we have is we also have you deserve love and love yourself first. So you, you guys have been in this beautiful energy collective of loving yourself first, of focusing on you, of putting your foot down that you're not going to be breadcrumbed, you're not going to be ghosted, you're not going to wait on somebody who's not willing to commit. And this is what's drawing this person in and making them realize that you were the one all along. This person sees you as their true love, but with children and healing family issues, some of them really do have a situation with someone from their past, a karmic feminine that they had children with. anything else yeah codependency this was a very codependent relationship some of them the child's mother depended on your person if they were a masculine or it was just very toxic converse a uh, very toxic relationship that your person was into for a long time and some people might meet a good person but they're so used to drama and toxicity that they choose to stay there and it's not fair to anybody but it's very true and happens every day look at that unrequited love very soon wedding in reverse is it safe to love you in reverse reconciliation in reverse and new love see this person wants to have a new situation with you whatever situation that they're in they're saying they're not going to reconcile with this person from their past they don't feel it's safe to be there some of you guys it's a very volatile situation very soon in wedding in reverse some of you guys that could have been married and like they don't even want to take any action towards this person now when it comes to you we have unrequited love in reverse with heart to heart conversation this is somebody who acted like i really feel like some of them like had a kid with somebody or had something going on with someone from their past that they didn't want to tell you about that was too much drama because they know if they would have told you the truth you would have been like fuck you bye but you intuitively got this download anyways and fell back but this person wants to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you and tell you like the love was not unrequited this was what it was can you forgive me i've loved you the whole time i just i don't know i feel like people should just keep it above who's coming towards my collective Someone's very nostalgic about you. They're listening to music. They're listening to songs that you guys could have listened together. Okay, this person feels like since you left their life, that beautiful, pure Queen of Cups Empress love has been absent with Grandma, Grandma Moab in reverse. Some of them, like this karmic feminine they were with, was just a fucking asshole. This person feels like their head was in the clouds, but I feel like they daydream about you a lot. Thunder in reverse. This person wants to get out of this uh, toxic energy of towers and all that shit. They just feel like you're so real. And you're so rare. Yeah, VHS. Oh my God. Peacock in reverse. I feel like this person, like, they could have got with somebody who they thought was like an empress, who they thought was beautiful, but they realized that's all that person was. And I'm hearing, like, you are the real deal. You have substance. Now, also, VHS, this person is just very nostalgic. Listening to music could even could even be watching videos on your social media videos they have of you just it's like they haven't seen you so they're trying to keep you the memory of you in their mind who's coming towards my collective let's see spirit we'll do this what do they present to my collective no this was in reverse what do they present to the collective What's hidden from the collective? What's hidden from the collective? What's in the heart space? What's in the head space? What are they telling their friends and family? What are they telling this third party? Mm. <laughs> and what is the higher self? I hope I don't forget what I did. okay okay so this is what they present to you collective i draft texts that i can never send in reverse you don't even, you wouldn't even think that this person has been wanting to talk to you because it's in reverse so they have this is just completely hidden from you so this person has been trying to 
send you messages what they're presenting towards you is that they don't care at all but really they draft texts that they can never send now what's hidden from you is that they want to take you on a candlelit dinner this person wants to spend money on you they want to treat you right if they haven't done that before they really want to show you how they feel about you i'm hearing are actually really romantic now what's in the heart space please don't get with someone else the audacity this person knows they have no business of you of feeling like you're theirs and you shouldn't be with someone else but they just feel like you are their person and all Although they was dealing with so and so and she and she and he and he for some of them this person does not want you to get with someone else like in their heart that's like their biggest fear is you getting with someone else now in the head spaces hoes are easier to control see this is a battle between the head and the mind this the head and the heart this person in their in their head this is where that ego this is where that monkey 3d mind comes in of them overthinking oh hoes are easier to control so i'll get with a king a uh, queen of wands in reverse because you know this bitch needs me and you know this is kind of what i'm getting from the person they could have got with over you this person needs me they're easier for me to control the collective makes me too nervous so um that's what i'm gonna do oh child okay now what they are telling their friends oh i've cried over us when i listen to the wrong people in reverse I don't know why I'm getting that they're telling their friends like that they they're I listen to the wrong people in reverse I'm getting like this person is kind of angry with their friends but they might feel deep down inside that their friends gave them bad advice but I'm here I could only blame myself I'm a grown-ass man but they're definitely telling at least one of their friends like they feel like one of their friends maybe was jealous or like stirred them down the wrong path but they feel like they they, sh they should have known better so i feel like they're just telling their friends that they're sad about the situation some of them might even cry in front of their friends what they're telling the third party i want to marry you in reverse y'all if they were married or engaged they're telling them i don't want you anymore they're telling the third party whether there's marriage serious commitment whatever they don't want to be with them that they feel like they're not their person and what is the higher self I can't be your man. Can I be your friends with benefits? See, why is this? I feel like this person, let me clarify that. That's coming out right under. Look at the, okay. Give me more, because what are they talking about? I feel like their higher self. This is just really giving me the mind. Like, look at that. No, see, there we go. That's why I was like, this is not right. I feel like this person wants to be with you. They know you're a soulmate. But, like, there's something in this person. They're talking to their parents about this. They feel like, I can't be your man. Like, can I be your friends with benefits? Some of them, it could be that they're in a marriage they're not happy with. And maybe their parents are telling them, like, you can't get a divorce. You have a child with this person. You have to be there. And it's like, they might be telling their higher self. is like, yeah, you have all these worldly situations. But this is your soulmate. So it's like they're going against like their friends, their family. They don't know what to pick and what to choose. And it has a lot to do with like practical things. <sighs> what does this person got themselves into? Who's coming towards my collective for Mercury Retrograde? Spirit baby. I feel like this person is being led to you by the ancestors because you guys are supposed to have a baby. Oh my gosh. Blessings blocked. This person's blessings are being blocked because they're supposed to have a baby with you. You or this person could be uh, popular or famous. Okay. Okay. I feel like when this person was dating you, they could have been stuck on an ex or they're currently stuck on you. You or this person could be brown skin. Some of you guys could have recently created an altar or spirit is saying that you should. And this person can't stop thinking about the sex with you. We have weeks. This person could be coming towards you in a few weeks. Okay. Past self in love with a karmic. We know that. This person was in love with a karmic in the past. That was a blockage. This person could be tall, 5'11 to 6 feet. Okay, you or this person could have soft skin, very smooth. Okay, we have drugs in reverse. 
So I feel like this person is addicted to you like a drug and mm, drug dealer. No. Some of you guys, this person is into something illegal and you don't know that. That could also be why this person is like secretive. Maybe the person that they had children with or that they're dealing with like knows about what they do. And can you forgive me? Tattoos. So you and this person could have tattoos, but I feel like this is also given like this person stuck on you like a, a tattoo and they don't know if you can forgive them. Now it's all mine. This person is very possessive over you. Doesn't want you to be with anybody else. Some of you guys moved on to a new love or this person did, but they feel like a fucking idiot. Daddy issues. This is giving me damaged aura. This is giving me somebody might be having, their, their aura is very damaged or they could be having issues with like a third party. In reverse. Yep, thank you, Spirit. They could be having issues with a child in reverse. And I feel like Spirit was trying to come through and tell this person, but divine intervention in reverse. They weren't listening to the messages from Spirit. This person could be going through therapy. Okay, and they feel like with you was a missed opportunity. You guys' connection was spiritually protected and anointed, though. So it's like this person's running into karma because they, they went against what they knew. Um, I can't handle you. Crazy karmic lesson. This person couldn't handle you. Like, you you were bursting open their heart chakra. They got nervous. They're a little bit crazy whether you know it or not. And they're going through a very deep karmic lesson. Message to you. You dodged a bullet with this one. See, some of you guys, this person... <laughs> divine masculine i need time this divine masculine always needed time to figure shit out and it's like you dodged a bullet spirit was protecting you and so you walked away because yeah you passed the test you some of y'all cuss they ass out some of y'all are dark skinned virgos here i'm living in the past i watch your social media okay some of you guys spirit was like protecting you to move away from this person because they knew what was going on behind the scenes and you passed the test Y'all cuss they ass out for some of you. Now this person is watching your social media stuck on you like white on rice. Okay? Healed health. Some of you guys could have been um, sick or this person could have been sick, but they were healed. Okay? Mixed. Some of you guys are like a mixed ethnicity or this person is connect with friends i feel like you guys have been just focused on friends back of the deck i want sex only this person doesn't only want sex with you even though they act like they do i don't know what the fuck is wrong with them um uh, future begging to be back with you so that's what's coming for you in mercury retrograde they're gonna be begging to be back with you because their life is a mess but that was a reverse i feel like they're gonna try to um they're going to try to hide that present i used you for your light in reverse so this person wasn't using you for their your light they truly loved you so much. some of y'all might feel like they were like just there for your energy no they really loved you and they think you're really gorgeous yes um new loyal friends some of you guys you guys have moved on to new loyal friends okay i fucked up the karma no that says watching your pics and vids didn't we get that with the nostalgia with the video the person's watching your videos like being sad some of y'all were married to this person in a past life okay and some of you guys are an artist or this person is okay i need you it's in reverse so that's what's hidden from you this person needs you but they're not saying anything you or this person could be african anything else i've changed Woo! this is someone ooh, this is someone who's changed someone who wants to be different and present having sex with multiple partners so now guys this person's out here just having sex didn't I say that? They're getting sick and tired of that shit. If they're with somebody, they're not happy with that person. They're cheating on them, thinking about you, wanting you back. And I feel like they're coming pretty soon to come towards you. Let's get some indicators for, let's see, Mercury Retrograde is only a few weeks. So, Spirit, what is the date of the month between May 10th to June 3rd? Give me some possible dates. Okay, so that could be June 2nd, or this person could be a Pisces or an Aquarius. Spirit's also saying uh, two weeks. This could be June, t uh, June 10th, Scorpio, Libra, the 3rd, the 3rd, the 6th, June 6th, June 13th. I'm sorry, I don't know why I heard that. Um, 2 plus 10 is 12 plus 6. 6 plus 2, 18. 18th. The 5th, the 7th, the 8th. The 20th. It's going to be different for, for all you guys, but 
you know if this person reaches out to you on any of those dates please let me know because i'm always like intrigued let's get some initials for this person that could be coming towards my collective we have f during a retrograde We're fell on a goddamn float. Okay. We have Q, C, C, D, M. What did I say in the DMs? <laughs> L, M, J, X, J, X. Some of y'all got an X with the with the name J, uh, a J name. Um, J again. C, Q, P, M, S. E Y R H. Okay. All right, collective. That's all I got for you guys. First, I do it one more time. Two more. Okay. K W S I C X B D. Some of y'all are still baby daddy. Q P B F X Y D. All right, guys. That's what I got for you. If this message resonated, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all later. Bye bye.